A few years ago, the whole world followed the story of the scandalous escape of Sheikh Mohammed's daughters, Latifa and Shamsa from their father and the terrible punishment they received for it. Ironically, their own sister, Sheikha Maitha, is the real pride of the ruler of Dubai. He allows her what many Oriental women are not allowed. While Maitha's sisters fought their father for freedom, she persistently went her own way to freedom. The why is the perfect princess criticized? And why has the ruler of Dubai still not married off his 44-year-old daughter like he did with his other daughters? Watch the video to the end to find out. Let's get started. Maitha was born in 1980 to Sheikh Mohammed's unofficial wife, Horia of Algeria. In addition to her, Horia Almash gave birth to two girls, the rebellious Shamsa and Latifa, and a boy Majid. As was his custom, the ruler of Dubai banished Horia from the palace and forbade her to see her children. They were raised by the Sheikh's first wife, Hind. Interestingly, the children reacted differently to being separated from their mother. Latifa and Shamsa grew up rebellious and indeed devoted their lives to fighting for freedom from their father. Their brother Majid initially followed his father's instructions diligently. He graduated from the prestigious London School of Economics and began a career in the UAE's public administration. He would probably have reached high positions by now had it not been for the love and strong character he inherited from his mother. In 2013, Majid met and fell in love with a girl from Morocco, Hessa. Sheikh Mohammed strongly disapproved of the relationship and even more of the marriage. However, Majid defied his father and married Hessa. For this, he was removed from his position as head of the Dubai Cultural Authority and stripped of many of his privileges. Despite his father's pressure, the man did not give up on his beloved. For more than 10 years, he has been happily married to Hessa, who has given her husband five children. The price of marital happiness has been strained relations with her father. Unlike her sisters and brother, Maithi accepted the rules of Sheikh Mohammed's game. In exchange for her loyalty, she was given unlimited opportunities for development. The princess chose a career in sports and business that proved to be very successful. After graduating from a closed school in Dubai in the year 2000, Princess Maitha thought about going to Europe to get a university education. However, a chance visit to a karate class proved to be her destiny. The princess became interested in martial arts and decided to become a professional athlete. Perhaps her refusal of a European education was no accident. Her rebellious sisters also tried to go to Europe to escape their overbearing father, but were severely punished. Apparently, Princess Maitha was more cunning and decided to pursue freedom in a different way. The trainers were amazed at how quickly the girl mastered the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. In four years, Maitha won her first gold medal, which was also the first gold medal in karate in the history of the Emirates. Ironically, this happened in her mother's home country of Algeria. In 2007, the princess won her second gold medal in karate in Cairo. Maitha was subsequently named Arab Female Athlete of the Year and received the prestigious World Fair Play Award. This is the first time in the history of the world that a female athlete of Arab descent has been awarded this title. And in 2008, Maitha managed to shock her conservative compatriots even more. The princess was named to the Emirates Olympic team and traveled to Beijing for the Games. When UAE residents saw Sheikha Maitha carrying their country's flag at the Olympic opening ceremony, they were stunned. Male athletes followed the woman, something that had never happened in the history of the patriarchal Arab Emirates. In the Taekwondo competition, the princess was only able to take seventh place. This was due to the unusually high level of the Olympic tournament and injuries that are inevitable for professional athletes. Because of this, the princess had to reduce the intensity of her training, and then she had to switch to a different sport altogether. Maitha began to suffer from severe back pain and Sheikh Mohammed forbade her from practicing martial arts. But what is going on in Maitha al Maktoum's private life? Unfortunately, discussing this topic is strictly forbidden in the Emirates. There is not a single publication on the internet, claiming to be reliable, that would tell about the princess's boyfriends. It is known that the Sheikha, who is 44 years old, has never been married and has no children. 
Rumor has it that Sheikh Mohammed has repeatedly chosen rich and respected suitors for his daughter. In each case, however, the girl rejected her father's choice and may still be searching for an ideal husband. It is possible that this is due to her athletic career. High performance in sports requires total dedication. At the age of 32, Princess Maitha took up equestrian polo. Surprisingly, this talented girl has been a resounding success. Her team regularly wins international club tournaments. Before assembling the team, the princess created one of the best stables in the Emirates, and perhaps in the entire Arab world. It was called Team Z7 and today it is considered one of the most prestigious brands in the equestrian world. Stable Team Z7 not only participates in horse races and polo, but also organizes unique shows, commercials and even acts in movies. In 2023, the stallion Zeus from Mytha Stable became the star of the seventh episode of the movie Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. Stunts involving Team Z7 horses are viewed millions of times on YouTube and TikTok. Naturally, Sheikh Mohammed is pleased with his daughter's success. Maitha is positioning the Emirates abroad as a progressive country and improving her father's image. Today, the princess is actively involved in the development of equestrian sports in the country, and since 2015, she has been involved in the social life of the country. Sheikh Maitha has joined the board of directors of the Global Initiative Foundation and Dubai Cares, which help underprivileged children get education. For most Emiratis, Princess Maitha is a pride and role model. She is truly loved for showing what an Arab woman is capable of when not constrained by ancient traditions and sharia. However, there are people who criticize the princess. Why do they criticize her? Sheikh Maitha shows complete indifference to her sisters, who dared to escape the control of their overbearing father and were cruelly punished for it. Their fate is unknown. Shamsa disappeared after attempting to escape her father in 2000. At the same time, Maitha changed her mind about studying in Europe. There may be a connection between these two events. Latifa tried to escape twice, but failed both times. To this day, it is not even certain that Latifa and Shamsa are still alive. It is interesting to note that Shaika Maitha sometimes posts photos of her brother Majid and old photos of her runaway sister Shamsa on her Instagram. But there are no photos of her other sister Latifa at all. What could this have to do with? And what do you think about this? Write in the comments. Princess Maitha has never once spoken out in defense of her sisters. It looks like she is only concerned about her career. Of course, no one has the right to judge the woman for such behavior. And considering the atmosphere of the Dubai Palace, her cautious behavior seems natural. And yet, in most photos of the perfect princess, the pride of her father and the entire country, there is a distinct sadness in her eyes. What do you think about Sheikha Maitha? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you soon.